and welcome to the Rock ATX online worship experience. You are getting ready to experience God on another level. Whatever you're seeking from God for your life is available for you as you praise, hear the word, and transform your situation. While you're worshiping with us, feel free to interact with our online ministers in the chat and share this broadcast with your friends and family so they can join you online. Also, make sure you subscribe and follow The Rock ATX on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram to stay connected to all The Rock is doing. Now, shake off the worries of the week and get ready to give God some praise. Service will begin soon. The first time, the first thing that, that God said was not good was this idea of isolation. Uh, they, they did an interesting study. Um, and in this study, they wanted to look at the impact of isolation. So they work with college students because college student, students always need extra credit. They always need extra money. Um, and somebody's always doing a study on them. Uh, so they, work, and they did an extensive study dealing with the impact of isolation. And um, in this study, they got these, uh, these college students who volunteered to be uh, isolated sometimes for a day, sometimes for a week, sometimes for a month. They put them in these cubicle areas, nice, soft, cushy, a very, very relaxing environment uh, so that they would be physically comfortable. Uh, they, they, they played a little, um, kind of a little white noise uh, in the background to eliminate all the small noises that could possibly uh, originate or come from the building, the creaking of a door, the footsteps or whatever else. Um, and so they placed these individuals uh, in these comfy little spots. They removed all the white, no all, all the noise around them. Uh, some were there a week, some were there a couple uh, a day, some were there uh, a month. And they observed uh, the power of or the impact of isolation. And they they noticed some things that were very interesting uh, because the entire time that they had them, of course, they they had. Um, they were doing biometric measures to make to check their heart rate and breathing rate and, and, and everything. And then they would um, they would have to report uh, basically uh, on, on their iPads things that they were feeling, things that they were experiencing and um, what have you, because they wanted to keep them isolated. So they couldn't even look forward to the interaction. It was just there. Uh, and, and it was interesting because in this in, in the study. Uh, every person had a breaking point. And at the breaking point, uh, it was noted because they began to hear voices. And they began, and some began to hallucinate. Uh, they, they, uh, and they all, they noted the voices and they noted the hallucinations because it was initiated in, by the individual began to talk to themselves. Uh, they, they began to, you know, uh, just, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, I got to do this, I'm, my, my name is Charles, uh, and, and they began to slowly but surely talk to themselves, and then, at, then the talking to themselves kind of grew into, now they, you know, and they, and they reported seeing things, you know, the, one, one person said that they saw sets of eyeglasses that were running down the hall. One person talked about uh, that they saw squirrels with bags, and then and they were they, and they were just darting about in the room every now and then. So they, you see them sitting there like this, isolation. Um, and, and these were not these were not individuals who had a history of any types of uh, uh, biological issues or mental issues. Uh, these were just if, uh, that they just noted that after a while, the brain doesn't do well uh, with isolation. And then the brain starts to create a truth in and of itself. 
because you want to hear something. So you start talking to yourself at first, and then that external voice becomes an internal voice. And then the internal voice becomes a movie or a picture that you play out and because your brain's not wired just to be stimulated by itself. Am I making make sense? Now, now I, um, so, so when you're isolated, you make up stuff. Uh, sometimes it's just, just long term uh, when, when you, because your brain is trying to, is trying to find uh, some type of stimulation. You remember um, the, the Academy Award winning um, the, uh, movie where uh, Tom Hanks uh, was isolated and, 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 uh, and shipwrecked and, and uh, he picked up, the, he had the little ball and, he, and, uh, and he drew a face on it and, and, and literally began to, began to uh, talk to it. And it's, it's interesting, I, listen, I, y- y'all gonna laugh at me, but yesterday I was watching Puss in Boots. Yeah, you know, it's a pretty good movie. Pretty good. I, I can't lie to you. Uh, 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 but um, um, I, I, there's there, there's one particular character, one particular scene uh, where um, the 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 main character um, in here. I don't want to ruin the movie for anybody, but the main character literally has yeah. Somebody, you ain't gonna ruin it for me. And, and but today you're gonna watch it because I said it. Watch. <laughs> See. I, the, the main character, um, in hope to in hopes of saving his life, uh, goes to uh, to a cat lady, or a cat retirement sort of home, uh, and so you can imagine this swashbuckling, adventurous uh, type of personality then is banished to uh, this space. Uh, where this, this, and this lady, uh, she opens, a, he knocks on the door and the lady is like, you know, if, if it's people from the city, I ain't got no cats. And then she opens the door and she sees the cat in and she grabs him and she looks around, closes the door, locks it. Uh, and then, and you see her talking to the cats, having conversations with the cats, everything else, because it's not good and you, you don't realize that your dog can't really understand you. I, I know, I know, you, I know. Listen, dogs can understand about a hundred words. After that, they're just looking at you. They, 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 they can get, the smart ones can get about a hundred words and then they get it down. But after that, when you're like, hey, buddy, how are you doing today? <laughs> I get at your, your cat and your dog, you really think they're talking to you. Why? Because it's not good for man. You're going to make up stuff. Because you really believe your dog feels your pain. And you believe that your cat understands you. Now, Dr. Moody, where, where are you going? Where are you going? I, I, I want to start out today, I want to start out this message by, make, by challenging someone. In the I'm, I'm going to challenge someone. And listen, I got $100. $100. Somebody said, is that real? <laughs> it's a real $100 bill. Real $100 bill. It's real. It's real. You can spend it. Now, I'm going to say, if you, if you get it today, make sure you tie. All right. So I want to challenge somebody. I want to, I want to challenge. Um, um, I, I want to challenge someone real, real quick. Um, who believes they know a, um, I, uh, maybe you grew up in church, maybe you know a little bit about the Bible. Um, I, I want to challenge you, you, know, you can't use your, put your cell phones down. Oh, Charles, you want, you want to be the one? You want, you want to be the one? Come, come on up here, come on up here. Challenge him, I mean, see, see that, that, that's that personality, like, ah, I, I know whatever you're going to ask. He didn't even wait for the challenge. All right, all right, all right, all right, stay, stay, okay, stay right there. Stay right there, all right. Uh, yeah. Okay. I, I, I'm going to ask if he can recite the Lord's Prayer. Uh, with, with, if he can recite the Lord's Prayer, I'll, I'll give him $100. Is, is, is that fair? Is that fair? If he can recite the Lord's Prayer, $100. All right. I, don't, look, don't look around. Don't look around. No, no, no help from the audience. You can't phone a friend. 
Okay, now, now how, wait, 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 wait. How many of y'all believe he can do this? Come on, you guys. Oh, don't, don't do this. Don't how many of y'all believe he can't do this? The, the Lord's prayer, the Lord's prayer, right? Our all, right Father, all, right, all right, go ahead. Our Father who is in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And for... Oh! And forgive us... Done. <laughs> All right. I'll give one more person on this side a try. One person on this side a try. Tamara, come on, come on. All right. All right. Uh, All right. That, come on. Help her up, David. Help her up. Help her up. Help, help her up. All right. All right. One with a guy. We'll give her $100. All right, fine. Okay, okay. Hold on. Okay, everybody quiet down. No help from a friend. All right, you ready? Our Father, okay, who art in ready? heaven, hallowed be thy Wait. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread as we forgive those who uh, forgive us our, our oh! trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. All right, Tisha, this is, the, this is the last, I hope. Now listen, if y'all don't know this, I'm going to retire officially for pastor. All right, all right, ma'am, yo, you ready? You, do you, ha you have it? You, you got it, you, 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 all right, you ready? Everybody quiet down, go ahead. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Now, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. She's wrong. Have, have a seat, ma'am. Here's the problem. No, no, no. I, I, I gave, I gave, I gave people, people chances to recite what we believe, and we've told ourselves over and over again is the Lord's prayer. And traditionally, go, 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 to, go to my next slide. This is not the Lord's prayer. This is the model prayer. He says this, therefore, don't be like them, for your father knows these things you need, right? In verse 9, in this manner, therefore, pray. So he is teaching them how to pray. But this is not the Lord's Prayer. This is the model prayer, but because we are so isolated and, and we're part, listen, I'm, hold on, let me take my dollar and put my money in my pocket. Because I. Listen, I was like the devil. I bet on y'all, and I knew y'all was going to lose. Why? Be because somebody said, well, technically, no, 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 no. Theologically, this is the model prayer. He is telling them how to pray. Now, Dr. Moody, go to my next slide. So then what is the Lord's prayer? <laughs> Some of y'all like, you know, he got me. So, some of y'all, some of y'all mad. Look at y'all. You're like, mm, he got me. I, I gave you three chances. I not was it was it very fair? I didn't set nobody up. I just asked you, what is the Lord's prayer? So, so now, the Lord's prayer can actually be found in John 17. So, go ahead. In in John 17, Jesus is getting ready now to go to the cross. And he is meeting with the disciples right before they take him and start and they take him and they put him on trial. And at this point, with the cross in his background and his ministry that he's already done before him, this is where he this is the pray that he that he that he utters, the prayer that, that he shares. And, and in this prayer, he prayed for himself, he prayed for the disciples, and he prayed for future beliefs, future believers. This is really theologically the Lord's prayer. He says this, Jesus, 
Jesus spoke these words. He lifted up his eyes to heaven. So now we see Jesus is actually, he's not saying, if you pray, pray like this. That's the model prayer. He said, no. And he said, Father, the hour has come. So, and he says, glorify your son that your son may also glorify you. You have given him this authority over all flesh and that he should give eternal life to as many as you have given him. And this is eternal life, that they may know you, God, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. I have glorified you on earth. I have finished the work which you've given me to do. And now, O oh Father, glorify me together with yourself, with the glory which I had with you before the world was. This is the Lord's prayer. Now, go, go, but, then, but then he prays, he prays for the disciples. He says this. Now he says, I'm not finished. He says, I have manifested your name to these men who you have given me out of the world. They were yours. You gave them to me. He says, they have kept your word. Now they have known all things which you've given to me. Uh, but, but, uh, but, I'm sorry. They've known all things which you've given me are from you. For I have given them the words which you've given to me, and they have received them and have known surely that I came forth from you. And they believe that you sent me. I pray for them. And I do not pray, get this, I do not pray for the world, but for those who you've given me. For they are yours. All, and, and all mine are yours and yours are mine. And I am glorified in them. Now I am no longer in the world, but these in the world, and I come to you. Holy Father, keep through your name those who you've given me, that they be, may be as one as we are one. And this is the prayer. That, go to my next slide. And then he continues on and prays for future believers. So he prays for himself, he prays for the disciples, and then he prays for future believers. He says in verse 20, I do not pray for these alone, talking about the disciples, but I also pray for those who will believe in me through their word, that they all may be one as you, Father, are in me and I in you, that they may also be one in us, that the world may believe that you sent me and the glory which you gave me I have given to them, that they may be Listen, be one just as we are. Yes, yes. I in them, you in me, that they may be made perfect in one. And that the world may know that you have sent me and have loved them as you've loved me. This is the Lord's prayer. Now, there are two principles we see in the Lord's Prayer that I want, that I want you to see. I want, I want to stick, that, that stick out to me. Number one, one is, he keeps saying, God, that I may glorify you, that we, we may be glorified. Thank you for worshiping with us today. If you're in need of prayer or someone to talk to, our online ministers are available for you right now in the chat. And we invite you to join us again for our extraordinary worship services every Sunday at 10.30 a.m., Sunday at 4 p.m., and Wednesdays at 7.30 p.m. Central, where Dr. Moody teaches how to understand the Bible, and you can get your biblical questions answered. We look forward to connecting with you, and ask that you subscribe to The Rock ATX on YouTube, and follow us on Facebook and Instagram to stay connected to all The Rock is doing. Also, you can connect with us through our website at therockatx.org. Again, thank you for worshiping with us, and be blessed.